Yo, what's up guys, Andy here, back with another video. Today we're doing a little bit of an educational video in the crypto space. We're gonna be talking about proof of work, proof of stake, and delegated proof of stake. Okay, so this probably seems like a boring topic to most people. I don't even know if my subscribers will be interested in it, but it is very important. It's one thing that I didn't look into or understand for a very long time, but I'm realizing this is a very important thing when it comes to cryptocurrency and also when it comes to the future of money and finance. Like this is what it's gonna be. So you better learn the basics, uh, figure out what this stuff is all about. So we have three main algorithms, proof of work, proof of stake and dedicated proof of stake. Proof of work is like Bitcoin. They have these computers that mine Bitcoin, solving these algorithms all over the world. Tons of electricity and resources are used for this mining. And all these different computers help secure the network, secure the blockchain, etc. So that's proof of work. It's sort of becoming an outdated type of thing just because people don't want to use all of those resources, all of that electricity. It's not that efficient. So then they came out with proof of stake and delegated proof of stake. We can see these are both consensus algorithms helping to democratize the function of a blockchain. So proof of stake, you have your tokens, you can stake them, AKA freeze them. And with that, you'll get voting power and things of that sort. And you'll also get rewards. Then we have delegated proof of stake. Basically, this is when you take your tokens and you delegate them to a representative. Then that representative can kind of vote for you and you also get rewards through the representative. So proof of stake, you're kind of on your own staking. Delegated proof of stake, you're delegating your tokens towards someone else so they can vote for you and stuff like that. So proof of stake is considered more decentralized just because it's the person and their power. Delegated proof of stake is considered less decentralized because you're kind of delegating your power to someone else. Now you can still maintain control of your tokens and everything like that. You're not giving someone else your tokens. It's just that you're delegating your power. So that's kind of the ups and downs of proof of stake and delegated proof of stake. One of the other big ones, which is why a lot of blockchains use delegated proof of stake, I believe it's this right here. Delegated proof of stake allows for block producers to validate transactions in seconds, providing faster transactions than proof of stake and proof of work. So blockchains are doing this delegated proof of stake because it's faster. You know, they need those fast transactions. They need those cheap transactions. Otherwise people are just gonna move to different blockchains. So that's the three main consensus algorithms. Of course, people are building slight variations of all of this stuff. It's an exciting time to see what people are coming out with. Usually with delegated proof of stake, there is a set number of representatives. And that is one of the disadvantages with delegated, you know, they can sort of form groups or they can hoard power, tokens, things like that. And I think that's one of the things um, I talk about legacy sometimes. They're building like a three party system. I wanna talk with them more about that to see how that works and makes that more decentralized than just a standard delegated proof of stake blockchain. So yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot of variables. And right now I think it's kind of like a battle for all of these blockchains to figure it out and see what's gonna be the best system, see what's gonna be the future. Of course, there could be multiple that thrive. We're in the very early stages. So it's exciting to just be here and be involved and see what will happen. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try and answer those. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Okay. Don't lay your problems on the path.